Thanksgiving. Trump, President Trump seems to be a little more casual about uh, his appearance before Putin, and Putin was a little more formal. He stood up a little more uh, ramrod straight in his chair. Uh, President Trump kind of clasped his hands in front of him and kind of slouched a little bit. And it's an honor to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it was interesting to a degree to hear President Trump tell President Putin that it was quote, an honor to be with him, given the environment and the climate that we're in with all of the allegations about Russia and its meddling in the 2016 presidential election and some of the other world issues that Russia is involved in and that Russia and the U.S. do not see eye to eye on. I think we're up to three telephone conversations now between the two leaders and uh, President Putin did specifically say that while they've had those conversations and they've been able to discuss a lot of bilateral and international issues, important issues to both of their countries and, and the world, he said that phone conversation is not enough, that you have to have the kind of meeting that they, they are having today, which is a one-on-one -on -one meeting where they go behind closed doors and kind of talk. Tomorrow, which is the final day of the summit, he's got a series of other meetings, other, by, quote, bilateral meetings with other world leaders, including uh, British Prime Minister Theresa May and Chinese President Xi Jinping. And those two will be interesting for a number of reasons. A lot of the terrorism issues that have been going on in Britain. And with China, it'll be North Korea and President Trump sort of signaling his disappointment with China over their uh, inability to kind of rein in North Korea, uh, pressure North Korea to, to limit its nuclear and ballistic missile program.